What's going on everyone? Welcome back to version one. Welcome to episode 14 of Fat Rags. We get your car on, we have a chat about it, and we send it. In today's episode, we've got a car that some of you may recognize from a previous episode on the channel. This is Boyden's Megane Mark III, but last time we had it on, it was a little bit hurt and it wasn't running up to full potential. This time, it's back with a full engine rebuild and a trip fresh from the Nürburgring, and it's running over 400 horsepower today. So, we're gonna have a quick run through the spec because it is massive, and then we're gonna go out and enjoy this absolute scorcher of a day and get some heat in these tires. This is Boyden's fully built, track ready Renault Megane RS. For those of you that haven't seen the previous video, let's rattle off this absolutely mental spec and get into the good stuff. The car now has a fully built engine from the guys at Engine Dynamics and running their lightweight flywheel, RS Tuning's hybrid turbo, AirTech intercooler, and a full GT Performance titanium exhaust. As it sits today, we're making a very safe 405 horsepower from a custom tune by Tommy down at Velocity Tuning. Exterior, the car features a fiberglass bonnet, aero catches on the front and the rear, carbon fiber wing mirror covers, cold air bumper modification, and the rear fog lights removed. The car is running a 17 by nine rotor grid on the Nankang AR1s in a 235-45. Interior, Boyd's running the Buddy Club P1 bucket seats with the TRS harnesses, pure track side mounts, CAE shifter, race tech snap-off boss kit, the steering column has been lowered, all airbags removed, light and boot lid and doors, full welding custom cage built by Garage 24, motorsport carbon fiber driver's foot plate, and the interior and cage have been painted in a white to match. Braking, the car is running the standard OEM front and rear discs, but with the Winmax W6.5 front brake pads and the rear Brembos as standard. Obviously, it's running the braided lines and the cooling ducts necessary to make this a proper track weapon, paired up with the Castrol SRF brake fluid. The gearbox has not long been rebuilt and it's running an RTS clutch and it's running a race spec plated gripper LSD. Suspension, the cars on the AST 5100s, AST top mounts, rear camber and toe shims, super pro anti-roll bar and drop links, and Boyd basically said that the car is running solid mounts everywhere that you can. So I'm unsure how this video is gonna go today because this is probably the most extreme prepared car that I have driven on the road, but let's hit some of the local B roads near me and see if we can have some fun. <laughs> Boyden's 400 now horsepower 
fully built race car basically Renault Megane Mark III. When we previously featured it on the channel just to go into a quick little bit more detail the car was a little bit hurt I can't remember what he said cracked piston or cracked head or something it was hurt so it was running a lot less power than the build could because it basically yeah, it was running like about 340 I think when it was on the on the channel previously now it's running a very conservative 405 brake horsepower apparently there's loads more in there but Boyd basically wants this to be day in day out complete reliable power as it's a track car it doesn't really need to make completely ridiculous numbers he just wants to make good numbers reliably all the time and this is where they finished up at 405. since it was on the channel last time it has been to engine dynamics for a full engine rebuild and i think it's running the same turbo but we've done a couple of little other supporting mods just to make sure everything is as it should be and it's been down to velocity tuning for a little tweak and to get the car running absolutely perfectly be the first to admit I'm not normally a fan really of how these Mark 3s sound but this one does sound really good. He's since got a full titanium exhaust on it now I don't know the branding but I probably went through it at the start of the video but yeah it sounds a lot a lot nicer than usual Mark 3s that I have driven and have experienced. Turbo sounds lovely real real flutter as you let off the accelerator this car is just so much, it's, it's just so much to take in, it's so visceral. It's the smell, it's the sound, it's the feel, it's everything. You know, you're in a tight bucket seat, with a big old cage, no interior, full exhaust system, turbo going crazy, good power, like, you know, it's just serious tyres and a, obviously a proper track set up with the suspension and stuff. So, majority of normal roads, this is far too much. And I am absolutely sweating driving it as well, because it is, it's just a lot, it's a lot to take in, it's a lot to process and this is probably the most talking I'm going to do because when I do drive this thing fast it requires all of your attention. Biggest thing 
between a track car like this and the Mark III Clio that I drove is that you can hash that Clio anywhere you like because it won't be going fast enough to get you in any trouble and it will be able to handle it. Where now this is running 400 plus horsepower, I'm not saying the chassis can't handle it because it can, it feels unbelievable. But it is so much quicker than the Clio, it will get you in trouble 10 times faster. And I'm not just talking, obviously, with the law. I'm talking about just how quick corners come up and stuff like that. And the way this comes out of a corner as well is just so good. It's just so, so confident, so planted. It just makes, it just makes you want to go for it at every opportunity. Take it here. And the ribs build.